I am going to show you a feature in PowerPoint 2023 that will make your life easier when creating presentations and save you time and effort. This feature is in plain sight, but people don't notice it. It's called the selection pane. But before we get started on the selection pane, let's take a look at how people normally move one layer above another layer. If you look at our first slide, you'll see that we have three layers. We have a bottom layer of the building. We have the second layer, which is an owl. And then we have a third layer, a text saying owl resorts. Now, normally when people want to move one layer above another layer in order to work on it, in a lot of cases, and edit it or just move it to get a, give, it, give it a new location, they will click on it. For example, we'll click on the owl layer and then they'll right click And you have a choice of bring to front, bring to back, and you have submenus. You have bring to front, which will bring the owl to the front, or bring forward, which actually just brings the owl one layer forward from where it's at. Same thing with back. If you go to back, we have send to back, which will send it all the way back to the, all the layers, or simply send backward. So we're going to send to back. And now our owl is behind the office building layer. If we want, we can send the resort text back. And on the resort text, one thing to keep in mind, because it's text, it kind of works a little bit different. If we select on the text area and right click, you'll see we have no ability to move forward and backwards. Well, we actually do. Up in the search menu, we can type a range and that ability to move from an object forwards and backwards comes up. But if we move over to outside the text area on the same layer and right click, we will see that we do come up with the normal option of moving to the front or moving to the back. So we're gonna move this one to the back now we have the ability to edit our building layer. If we want to send our building layer to the back after we're done to its normal position, we can send it back. And now we have our two layers, but we want to bring, send the owl back to one layer because we say send it back, it'll send it behind the office building. We don't want that, we just want backwards. And now we're behind the Owl Resort layer. Now there's one other tool that we can use to move these layers around. And that is on the Home tab. And on the ribbon to the right, we'll see the button Arrange. And this allows us to arrange the layers in the different orders. Okay, we're on slide number two. Now there's a better tool to use in the effort to move layers up and down and to work with layers. And that tool is the selection pane. If we go up to the home tab, go all the way over to the right, we'll see a button called select. We hit the drop down and we go to the selection pane. And on the selection pane, we can see that we have three layers, the three layers that show up on our slide. So it doesn't matter if you have 20 layers, they'll show up on this pane. At the top, we have a show all, which shows all the, the different layers. And we have hide all, which hides all the layers. We can come back to show all. Down at the bottom, we have the different layers and their names. We can actually double click on this and change the layer name. For example, we'll call this Al Resort Text. And now we have the name of that layer. Now, another great feature of the selection pane is being able to move the layers up and down. And there's actually two ways of doing that. We can actually select, for example, the Al Text that we just changed. And we can move that down by clicking on these arrows at the top. So we're now down to where it's in the second layer. Now it's behind everything. We can come back up and we can move it back up to the second layer. 
and then we move back up to the top layer. The other option, which is really handy, is that you can take a layer like picture and we can move it above the owl layer this way, or we can take the owl layer and move it above the picture. So we have the ability over here to move the layers any direction we want. Over to the right, we have the famous eyeballs. And as you see in other programs, this allows you to turn off the different layers or objects. For example, on the owl resort, we can click on the eyeball and it makes the text layer disappear. So say we wanted to only see the owl, we could actually click on the first layer and the third layer on the eyeballs, and now we have the owl that we can work with. Now, as a means of protection, one other thing we can do is we can actually click on the locks to the right and lock out each layer. So we're going to lock out the text layer. We'll lock out the picture of the office building. And now we only have the owl layer that we can move around and we don't have to worry about affecting those other layers. I guarantee you that every time you create a PowerPoint presentation from now on, you're going to bring up the selection pane because it's going to save you a tremendous amount of time and effort. I want to thank you for watching this tutorial and please subscribe.